Hello, welcome back to the workshop, and today we are looking at Hornby's latest 9F, the Tyne Dock version. Mike, the 9 is one of my favourites, and let's face it, the Tyne Dock version hasn't been modelled all that much, but it's great to see it, isn't it? Well, it's actually never been modelled before as a ready to run locomotive, then all of a sudden we've had two versions come along at once. So there's the Hornby version we've got on the layout here today, mm. uh, and Backman's also released a version of the Tyne Dock locomotives as well. Yeah. yeah so this one's uh, the Hornby version, like I say. Uh, it's based on the new tune that Hornby released uh, in 2022. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles in terms of uh, detail and presentation. You've got a 21 pin decoder socket in the tender, you've got space for speaker in there as well, five pole motor and locomotive, locomotive drive, and then it's got all the extra features of the time dot locos. These days, of course, Hornby is also putting in locomotive crews, glowing firebox, and so forth. Yeah. And you can't see it obviously from the camera angle here, but the the, the the compressors there and all the piping detail, they've really gone to town with the detail and even on the smoke box door, everything's been picked out. It's just, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. So there's actually only nine of these were built with um, Westinghouse pumps on them. They were built specifically for the Tyne Doctor concert iron ore trains uh, and the air pumps were there to operate the air powered doors on the set of wagons we've got behind the locomotive today. Um, these locomotives, they were always based at Tyne Dock, operated their entire career around there. Uh, and uh, unique locomotives that people have wanted to model, well, certainly wanted to buy a ready-to-run one of for a long time. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, 92097, because it's got the, uh, the smoke box door picked out with silver, that's sort of toward the end of its days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. It's, it's aimed to be towards the end of its career. It's actually also noticed well, it hasn't got a smoke box uh, shed plate on it either on this one, uh, but it has got all those embellishments. It's also got the extra electrification warning flashes, so it's got the double warning flashes at the front of the smoke deflectors, uh, which are quite a significant feature of this logo. So what else comes in the pack as far as details? Well, you've already mentioned the pre-painted crew, which now comes with pretty much all the new Hornby steam locomotives. Uh, there's also a set of uh, front steps to go on the loco, uh, and there's also the buffer beam parts and the cylinder drain cocks, which can be added after you bought the class uh, 9F. Uh, they all add a really nice, complete picture to the loco. Wonderful. And as far as the coupling between tender and locomotive, is this the new kinematic one, or is this the older style? I know this is the older style, so it's still the standard uh, rigid bar, which does have the alternative position on it, but it does make them very close if you're running on anything tight and sort of fourth radius curves. And as far as fitting DCC sound and so forth, how easy would it be to convert one of these 9Fs? Uh, actually, now it's got the 21 pin decoder socket in the back. They're actually very simple to do. Um, we did do a guide in the Hornby Magazine yearbook a couple of years ago uh, for how to do these. Uh, and um, it's basically take the tender body off. There's a 21 pin decoder socket inside. Plug your 21 pin chip in. And there's also then a 15 by 11 cube speaker space, which you can mount a 15 by 11 cube speaker into in the tender. And as far as availability and price is concerned, where can people get them and how much are they? Right, so they're in stock now at Hornby's retailers and the price is £252.99 for one of these new locos. Uh, like I say, they are in stock now and ready to buy and add to your collection. Fantastic. Well, look, if you love 9S as much as I do, you will need to add one of these to your steam fleet. You can read the full review in our latest edition of Hornby Magazine. That is issue 198, which is available right now and, of course, on keymodelworld.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>